All right, today we are going to talk about a U substitution integration. Um, and so for the U substitution integration, we have to talk about what the U is. Well, consider this derivative. And this is a chain, a composition of functions. And so it's the chain rule scenario. So it's the derivative of the outside function times the derivative of the inside function. And what we would want to do to find this u is we want to find u to be the inside function. We want u to be our g of x because we have to look for the derivative of it and then we can substitute it away basically. So when we look at this example here, it's all about the chain rule to recognize the pattern. I know if I would take the derivative of this thing here, I know the chain rule would say this is the derivative. And we could just see this one by inspection. I know if I take the derivative of that, or sorry, if I take the integral of that, this rewriting it is to the 1 half. It's just going to be x squared plus 1. I add 1 to my exponent, and I divide by the reciprocal, 2 thirds. And so but what about this 2x? Well, the derivative of 2x, this is the g prime. Of derivative of x squared is 2x. So when I would take the derivative, it would be here. And that's done by inspection. If I would show you the process on an easy one that I can do by inspection with a u, this is what I would do. What I would do is I would call the inside function, I would call this inside here, my g, is u, which is x squared plus 1. And then I take the derivative of du dx is equal to 2x. Multiply both sides by dx, and du is equal to 2x dx. And what I see here is 2x dx is right here and here. Those two together exactly equal du. I also can see that u is x squared plus 1. So here, I'm going to make it u. And so if I substitute everything around, I know I have u underneath the square root. And together, the 2x and the dx make du. And so now, I'm going to integrate this. This is going to be u to the 3 halves, because that's exponent 1 half. Divide it by the reciprocal plus c. And then the final thing is I replace u with what it was to begin with. And so I get 2 thirds x squared plus 1 to the 3 halves plus c. So this is the process of a u substitution. If I look at this one here again, there is my chain rule derivative. And so if I would look at my inside function, I would make u equal to x cubed. But this particular one can be easily done by inspection as well. You can try that on your own. Let's try another one. Let's consider this. When I look at this particular scenario, I have to recognize that what I see here is I see, especially if I make it bigger, that the derivative of t to the fourth is t cubed. I got a 5 to deal with. So Let's call this here my du, or sorry, u, is t to the fourth plus 1. Taking the derivative, and I'll multiply by dx all at once, so du is going to be 4t cubed dt. So I just multiply by the dt all at once. And so now, what I see is that t cubed dt is here. I don't have that. And so I'm going to divide by 4. So I have 1 fourth du is equal to t cubed dt. And so this t cubed dt is exactly this part and this part. I have to replace it with 1 quarter du. And so when I do that, I'm going to pull the 5 all the way out to the front because it's a constant. I could do that. And I have 1 quarter, so the t cubed t is 1 quarter du. 
and I know that this inside part is my u, so it's u to the one third. I split up the one quarter du just so that this integral makes is easy to recognize. And so I now have five. I add one to my exponent, which is four thirds. Multiply by the reciprocal, times it by the one quarter. And I will do plus c. And so my integral is going to be 15 over 16. U, I know, substituting it back, is t plus to the fourth plus one to the four thirds plus c. And so we use this idea of a u substitution to really help and see what these coefficients will be. We'll try another one here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, so now I have to find my inside function. And what I can recognize, well, the derivative of a cosine is sine. So I have to recognize that this is the same thing as saying sine theta times cosine theta to the minus three. And so cosine theta is my u. So we'll make cosine my u is equal to cosine theta. So du is equal to derivative of cosine is negative sine theta d theta. My negative, I'm going to make this negative du sine theta d theta. And so now I can replace this in. And so my sine theta d theta is equal to negative du. My cosine is u to the minus one third. So now actually taking the integral, I'm going to add one to this exponent. I add one is negative two. Here's my negative and I'm going to divide by the reciprocal plus c. And so I get one half cosine theta to the minus two plus c is my integral. All right, now this one here, this one's here slightly more advanced. If I take x plus one as my inside function, let's just try that. x plus one is equal to u. du is dx. I don't get rid of this x, which makes it a little bit challenging. So let's still do that. We're still gonna make u that inside because it is inside x plus one, it's inside the square root, so we'll make u that. And I know the derivative of this is dx. But what I can also do for that is I know that x is equal to u minus one by subtracting the one. Now I have to do two substitutions. What I can say is I can say that x is u minus one times the square root of u. This is u to the one half, and this is du since it's equal. Well, now that I have this, I can distribute it into my integral. And so I get u to the three halves minus u to the one half du. I can come along now. Each part I can integrate individually, so it's u. I add one, divide by the reciprocal, minus, I add one to the exponent, multiply by, I said divide, I mean multiply by the reciprocal, um, and then I go plus c, and then I have two fifths. u I know was, from the top, x plus one, x plus one to the five halves, minus two thirds, x plus one to the three halves plus three. So this is a more advanced kind of u substitution. I don't have the direct uh, chain rule found here, but by doing the substitution, I can take out, make the root a simpler root and be able to multiply to simplify the scenario. So there's your introduction to u substitution.